Hey everyone, it's Brandy and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my July book haul. Now I'm just, before I get into these books, I'm just going to say that this is my birthday month. So I did not actually get any books as gifts, but I did get books for myself for my birthday all throughout the month. So that is the reason why I have 30 books in this book haul. I am honestly kind of ashamed of myself that I bought so many books uh, but you know at the end of the day I, I bought them with my own money and I do plan on reading them and the majority of them I feel like I will read them recently like soon so I'm not gonna really beat myself up too much but yeah like I said I do have 30 books to show you guys in this video so I'm just going to get into it. I will not be talking about any of the descriptions in these videos because there's so many and I don't want to take forever doing this. I decided that I like to start with the books that I got in my book subscription boxes. If you're subscribed to my channel you probably have already seen that I actually posted three book, uh, three book subscription unboxings last month. So I have three different books to show you guys for those. The first book that I have is from the Hootloot box and they're currently a bi-monthly box. The theme for their July box was London and Love and the book that was included in that was I See London, I See Friends by Sarah Malinowski. I think that's how you say her name. And this book came with a letter from the author as well as a signed book plate. The next book that I have is from the July Owlcrate box and the theme for the Owlcrate was Wanderlust. In that box the book was The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee and Owlcrate has been recently doing their exclusive cover so I will make sure to leave a picture of the original cover and this is the cover that we got and this book also came with a letter from the author and yeah it also came with a signed book plate and the last book that I got in a subscription box was from my July fairy loot box and the theme for fairy loot was tricksters and the book that was in that was daughter of the burning city by Amanda Foodie and this book is just so pretty I love the purples and the pinks and it's like gradient anyway oh, that's upside down this book also came with a letter from the author as well as a signed book plate which actually matches the letter and the cover of the book oh. if you guys watched my wrap up which is earlier this week I talked about how I recently started reading my one of my favorite manga series in physical edition this month I pretty much bought all of the physical editions that are currently out and the majority of these are in these omnibus editions so there are three volumes and one these are all from the skip b series by yoshiki nakamura so i have volume one of the three in one edition i picked up volume two volume three volume four volume five and you know what i just remembered that one of them I am currently reading so I have to go quickly get that get that out of my bag just a moment okay I'm back and this is volume six I am actually currently reading this one I am in the middle of the first volume that's in here so I'm in the middle of volume 16 then it's volume seven volume eight volume nine volume ten volume eleven and volume 12. I have 12 volumes of these 3 of 1 editions and all together that is 36 volumes of the series. And then they didn't have any more of the 3 of 1 editions so the last two that I picked up are actually just single volumes so I also picked up volume 37 and volume 38. So like I mentioned before I started talking about all of those I actually picked up all the physical editions of this manga series that are currently out in English and then I think volume 39 is actually coming out later this year I think it comes out in September maybe later than that I can't remember but I think I may have already pre-ordered that one the next book that I picked up was Akata Witch by Nadia Korfor the next book that I picked up was Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab moving along I can't remember if it happened in June or July but book outlet actually had a sale which 
I feel like a lot of book people, if you are if you get emails from Book Outlet, then you find out about it. But they had a sale where they were, or it wasn't really a sale, but they were give they gave everybody five dollars off. You didn't have a limit on how much you had to spend to get the five dollars off. They just gave out a five dollar off coupon. So I had it shocked at Book Outlet. I think since I moved into this place, so it's been at least a few months since I've gotten anything from Book Outlet. So I decided that it was a perfect time. So I have just a really like a pretty small Book Outlet unboxing. I have already opened these books and looked at them, but I figured I would just go ahead and show you guys. So the first book that I have is The Game of Love and Death by Martha Brokenberg. Broken Bro. The next one that I picked up was Five to One by Holly Badger or Bodger. And this was a part cover by and partially I have been looking at this book for a while. So it was only like three bucks I think. So I finally decided to pick it up and it's a pretty short book. The next one that I have is False Hearts by Laura Lamb. The next book that I have here is The Paper Menagerie and Other Stories by Ken Liu. Okay, so I have two more books that I got for Book Outlet. The next one is Bones of Fairy by Jamie Lou Simner. And I actually heard, I picked this up because I heard Naya from Naya Reads the Smiles talking about this. And I had, I think, the entire trilogy on there. But I decided to just pick up the first book to see if I like it before I get any more. The last book that I picked up from Book Outlet was Blood Games by Chloe Neal. And this is another book in the Chicago Land Vampire series. I mentioned this a while ago, but I have been trying to collect the physical editions of the Chicago Land Vampire series so I can just read the series through. So those are all the books that I got from Book Outlet. So I got paid one last time before the end of the month and I did pick up a few more books. So I have just four more books I think to show you guys. The first one of those is Every Last Breath by Jennifer L. Armantrout. This is the third and final book in the Dark Elements trilogy I believe. I actually do have the first two books in the series and I decided to just go ahead and pick up the last book because it was like six bucks or something like that. It was pretty cheap. So I decided to just go ahead and pick it up and I will explain to you guys why at the end of this video. And then I decided to just go ahead and pick up two more comics and that is Descender Volume 3 Singularities and Descender Volume 4 Orbital Mechanics. And I actually came a little damaged from Amazon, which I'm not too happy about, but you know, it's fine, I guess. But I talked about volumes one and two in my wrap up for July, and I really wanted to see what was going on in the story. And these were the two that are currently out, the fifth volume. I think the fourth volume actually just released either in July or June or something like that. It released really recently. So I just went ahead and picked up these two and I do plan on reading both of these in the month of August. And the last book that I have to show you guys, technically I got an August, it released on August 1st and it actually came in one of the boxes that had my the last of my books that I bought in July. So I figured that I would go ahead and show you guys and that was Food Words Volume 19 by Yuta Sakuta. Yuto Sakuda. I forgot a book and I the last book that I have is Dating You Hating You by Christina Lauren. It got buried under stuff and I didn't completely look at my list. So I decided to show you guys this one this month because I decided that especially after buying all these books in one month I decided that I'm actually going to go on a book buying ban. Somebody that I follow on Instagram, she decided that she wanted to go on a two month book buying ban. So I figured that, you know what, since she's doing it, and I might as well just go ahead and try to do it as well because I recently counted all my unread books. And right now I am currently sitting at like almost 250 books. And I think that was including all of these books that I currently got as well. So um, I have quite a few books. I have been reading a lot more lately compared to what I used to. But I feel like I'm still not reading nearly as fast as I need to to be able to finish all of these books. So I decided to go on a two month buying ban and I'm already kind of regretting it because there are some new releases that are going to be coming out that I'm probably going to miss out on. It's supposed to go through August and September. 
so that means I can't buy books until October and I know there are some new releases that I wanted to get to so I'm kind of regretting it but I decided that I'm going to do it if there are a few books that I might make an exception for and I will not be counting my book subscription boxes because I have already ordered all of those or they they're recurring so those won't count towards this like I said I do plan on going on a book buying ban for two months and hopefully I can last that entire two months but that is all I have for you guys today I'm not gonna hold up these books because yeah it's 30 bucks and just not about that life but thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys again in the next one bye